Bro, when I tell you his fucking teeth are in different area coats, not. Hey guys, it's your girl Natalia, and we're back with another video. Now, for today's video, as you can tell by this title, it's another story time. Yes, guys, another story time. You know what? I want to set the mood. I want to have a little candle lit up and everything. It's eventually, as you can see. I had a boyfriend and I was calling him by the wrong name the entire time. And I don't know like why he didn't correct me. But we'll get into that right now. So without making this introduction a little too long, while I do that, I'm basically gonna be basically gonna be getting ready for bedtime, putting on some products and then letting you guys know what I'm putting on. Nothing crazy. Just kind of like my regular nighttime routine. I did already shower, braid my hair, and my face is nice and clean and washed. Basically, this story is going to take me back to, let's go back to, I forgot what year, coronavirus, when all that initiated, probably a few months into corona, coronavirus, um, the summer of coronavirus, because I know that started around March when everything got shut down, and then that same summer is when I met this person. So yeah, you guys, that summer of, I think it was 2020. Yeah, 2020 is when I met this person. I was um, on dating sites like Tinder, Plenty of Fish, whatnot. You know, trying to meet some um, local people. Trying to hang out, trying to get to know people, you know? And I happened to meet this guy that was from the city. Um, if you guys don't already know, I am located here in um, Illinois. Which is real, and I'm real close to the city. Not necessarily the city, though. <laughs> but um, every time I can and I have the opportunity, I go out there. I love it. I enjoy it. It's a fun time. It's the city. Everything is out there. No mas. <laughs> so, you know, I started talking to this guy on, I think it was Tinder, like I said. By the way, you guys, Mama. I just used Mama. some activating... Mama. essence i don't really know Mama. what that means but i use this it's like a like a toner i use this every night it's by shiseido shiseido i don't i don't i know i'm butchering that like i'm not pronouncing that correctly but that right there got this from um sephora really good makes my skin feel super plump but yeah anyway I'm gonna go in under my eye bags with this Revlon um, roller um, and just kind of get the little eye bags and the puffiness that I get under my eyes. Little massage. But okay, guys, so yeah, again, back on Tinder. We ended up uh, matching or whatnot, and then don't mind me, I have the little one right here. So we ended up matching or whatnot, and um, within that same day that we started speaking, we both agreed on mutually just taking off um like our dating profile Mama. like we we were willing to like you know take it to not the next level but like t be more um like a one-on-one -on -one relationship sorry guys i couldn't think so yeah so we i Mama. you know took off my tinder he Mama. according to him took off his tinder so um we went to the next step which is texting snapchat um instagram that was basically it's just snapchat and instagram this thing is falling back so we were talking for maybe like a few days like a week before we ended up um agreeing on and like going on a date so and i oh oh god i'm stunned. when we agreed to go on a date uh mind you he did not have a car <clears throat> giving broke i'm just playing he didn't have a car he had just moved back from um arizona i guess he had we're gonna you know what we're gonna give him a name we're gonna call him jordan that's what we're gonna call him jordan now jordan um had just moved back from arizona he was living with his parents in the city in chicago um kind of bumming it out um according to him he had a job he had just started, which is why he didn't have a car, he didn't have a place. He had just got back from Arizona, so he was trying to get back on his feet. So, okay, I, I wasn't in it for a long time. I was just in it for a good time. So I'm like, you know, play me a sad violin. 
boohoo. You know, I don't care. I'm just trying to have a good time. Um, because again, I was just in it to have fun. Like I wasn't trying, I wasn't thinking about it. Oh, long-term relationship. So it's not like a red flag. I'm like, oh my God, I should watch out for that. Continued on. I'm like, you know what? Let's go on the date. Why not? So yeah, we planned the date. And like I said, since you have a car, um, and I love the city, I'm like, why don't I just go out there to you? <coughs> so then, yes, you guys, I ended up going out there with my little car to the city, dressed up all cute. Now, mind you, during this time, my sister used to live um, in the city or near the city as well. So it was a very convenient drop off because I had my daughter. So I'm like, I could take advantage of that, drop her off and then go do my thing. You know, so that's exactly what I did. I went, dropped off my kiddo, um, you know, got all cute and whatnot, and ended up going out with this guy to basically stroll in the city. Um, I went, picked him up, and then after I picked him up, um, he had to step up, what is it, Walgreens real quick. Now, mind you, during this time, Jordan and I, because we had already been texting for a while, we didn't care to reintroduce our names. However... I mean, I, I had no, at no point did I have the need of using his name, like saying his name. So it never came up. So um, I just knew it started with the J, y'all. I just, that's all I knew. <laughs> and according to me and what I thought, I was under the impression this man's name was Jason. I'm going to tell you guys why in a second. So anyway, me and Jordan go to Walgreens. He's super sweet buys me some flowers um he's like yeah he was saying he, it was an excuse he's like yeah i gotta get like a card for something he had something to get but really he came out with the flowers so i'm like oh super cute you got points right there um so you know everything was going good i will say i was a little thrown off by the way he looked because and this should have been a red flag you guys so if anybody's ever on dating sites let this be known like if you see someone that has profile pictures only or like only pictures of their eyes or like very fragmented pictures like that should be a red flag because why are you not showing your whole face sir to me that's like mm, you gotta have some ugly in there if you can't show your entire face <laughs> but again i was just trying to have fun i'm like i don't care met the guy Bro, when I tell you his fucking teeth were in different area coats, now I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not about to sit there and talk shit like my stuff is not crooked, cause. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? But my guy, like when I tell you his like two top teeth, like I said, literally different zip coats, li different area coats, they were in different parts of the earth two different continents it were separated by the mediterranean sea i couldn't even say that I chopped that up so bad but that's how bad the gap was y'all top of it like i saw then why he was taking fragmented ass pictures because i'm like them pictures you took profile look good you know the, the beard the everything i'm like damn okay that, that was giving nice fine with the full beard um then I seen it in person and when it was like a great value brand downgrade, you know, again, not the best looking person individual right here, but like, I'm going to put my pictures out there. If I'm going to be on a dating site, it's to show y'all what I look like, not to catfish because at the end of the day, when y'all meet me, y'all going to be like, what the fuck? What is that? So I wasn't trying to do that to myself. Anyway. So yeah, we want this date. Um, we're strolling through the city. We go and get some italian eyes we get some pizzas from like chicago if y'all know y'all know um i got a fire ass mac and cheese pizza so yeah date was fire date was dope mind you go home i go home we'll continue on our little relationship at this point because that same day is when he asked me to be his girlfriend so i'm like oh so like it was made official and everything um you guys, what I'm going to be using right now is this, I actually forget the name, the Starface Hydro Stars for, like, pimple patches or whatever. Um, these are really good. I usually just put them on when I see that a pimple's coming out and they kind of help, like, overnight so that it doesn't get huge and it kind of just sucks out all that yuck. But yes, so, you know, I go on this date, come back, he asked me to be his girlfriend. And at that point, I'm like yeah fuck it i know you well enough i went out there with you like i met you in person i like you 
why not another red flag i just met you sir why would i be your girlfriend right away but y'all i was trying to have fun trying to have fun hold on so yes when um it was maybe two three weeks went by and then this one day i was out with my family we all decided to just go out skating it was all the girls in my family my sisters my mom and then my sister brought her um, my older sister she brought my nephews now <laughs> do you guys remember when i said i was under the impression this man's name was jason this is why so my nephew's name is jason y'all <laughs> And the way I found out that his name was not Jason, but was in fact Jordan, was because when we were all at the park, I decided to get on the phone with him. And I'm like, because, you know, we're already like three weeks, maybe a month into it. So we were talking every day, FaceTime and whatnot. So I decided to call him. I'm with my little uh, nephews and I'm just like, hey, Jordan. But I was calling him Jason. So here, let me start. Jason. How are you, babe? You know, how you doing? Mind you, never said anything. Never brought it up. Hey, yeah, babe, I'm just working. You know, what are you doing? FaceTime. FaceTime. So then we get on the phone, and I'm like, hey, maybe. Mind you, my nephews are right behind me. We're all skating, roller skating. They're right behind me, though. And I'm like, oh, yeah. He's like, who are you with? I'm like, oh, my nephews, babe. Do you see them? I'm like, look, 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 babe. Jason, Jason. So I'm trying to get my nephew's attention and I'm like, look, Jason, you guys have the same name. <laughs> and I stay there and I'm sitting and this man isn't cracking. He is not cracking a joke. He's not laughing. My nephew's like, ha <laughs> ha. He was like five at the time, six. He didn't know what the hell's going on. He's just, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, whatever. Maybe he just doesn't want to talk to my nephew. Maybe he's just not like, he's like, too soon, too soon. What are you doing? Abort mission. I don't know. So I didn't take it that personally. I'm like, whatever. I guess. I thought it was cool. You guys have the same name. Jason. <laughs> I was going through Snapchat. Y'all. But you know how you could add your own username so you could change your own username to let it be something else? And then when you look at your actual, like, login username, that could be different. So, decided to click on this stuff. Click, 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 click. When I click on it, <laughs> it said, yeah. Oh, 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 whoa. All right, let, hold on. Let's set his, his, like, initials. Not initials, but, like, like, acronym for his name. I almost fucked up there. <laughs> so then I'm like, wait, what? So... I decided to, like, on some sneaky shit, ask him. So, again, fast forward, we're on another date. We're at his um, at his uh, crib at this point. We're just talking. He has dogs and pets, so we're just feeding them, like, you know, messing around with the pets. And I'm like, pillow talking. I'm like, oh, my God, so you never told me your full name. What's your full name? Like, middle name, last name, everything. Mind you, my intention was to get his real name out because I'm like, I've been calling you Jordan, this, I mean Jason this whole time. And you mean to tell me your name is not Jason? Again, I was still hoping that it was Jason. I'm like, nah, it can't be nothing else. I've been calling you this whole time for about three weeks. So he breaks it down. He's like, yeah, my name is... I'm like... Oh. <laughs> I'm like... I love your middle name, babe. <laughs> Boy, when I tell you, I literally felt like, you know when you get embarrassed and you feel like the heat rise to you, like your face and you just get red and you start kind of like, like a stress sweat? Stress sweat instantly. And it was summer, y'all. So y'all know I was hot, sweaty. And I'm just like, I was not about to ask this man. Like, wait, why haven't you, why haven't you corrected me? You haven't heard me call you wrong name? Hell no. If he hasn't said it, I ain't about to say shit. But when I tell you guys, oh, you guys, I'm applying some cuticle oil. I actually got this from Five Below, and I absolutely adore it. It's really good. And it kind of, like, just moisturizes. The cuticle it has cute little flowers in it. Recommended Five Below. But, um, yeah. So, he says his name, and of course, he's like, yeah, tell me your name. So, I mean, he already fucking knows my name. Like, he knew it. He said my whole fucking name. He knew my name. He was paying attention. You mean to tell me maybe the whole time I just didn't say your name? 
and that's not the case i know it's not the case because even when i was on the phone i'm like hey you and jason my nephew you guys have the same name why did he not acknowledge it is what the fuck i want to know i felt like a piece of s h i t sugar honey i c i felt horrible there was no way that i really like was out here like being a dog roof roof like that's some player stuff. I'm the play. I was a player from the Himalaya. Like what? So shortly after, um, <laughs> I will say shortly after, maybe like a few days later, he was very, um, he was just overstepping my boundaries. Um, so we kind of ended up breaking up either way. So it kind of didn't matter that I didn't know his name. <laughs> I just felt like a piece of crap though because I'm like dude there's no way this guy's been so sweet to me and I'm sitting here just kind of like ignoring details very important details about this man's life like his name I really don't know to this day how I ended up thinking that was his name it was a very similar name again it was a J name um so I feel like that's why I confused it not intentionally but it's not like it worked that either way so like does it really matter at this point no i doubt that you're watching this video but if you are i'm pretty sure you know who you are and if you didn't know now you do that i didn't know your name and i just want to apologize because that's fucked up i will feel butthurt if someone i was dating didn't know my fucking name i will feel so hurt and i'm taking them out on dates and i'm spending money on them and they don't even know my fucking name Yo, no, that's some wild shit. Who goes on a date? You don't even know name. It's acceptable if maybe it's like, oh, we went to the club. It was a one night thing and like, I just didn't know your name. No, boy, like we we was together for uh, like a good month. <laughs> a month at most. And like, you don't know my name? So yeah, that's the story on the time that I dated someone and didn't even know their name. Or I thought I knew their name, but it was the wrong name the whole time. Like I said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like. Please, please, please share this if you guys like the content. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff up top. Um, and I will see you guys next time. I am trying to make a little bit more video content um, and upload a, a little more often. I've been slacking, so I do apologize. Um, it just sucks creating content and then, you know, putting in hours of work to then get like five views. Like, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm going to keep going. Like, it's not. I'm not going to give up. Um, again, last time saying it. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to hear anything. See a video. Tell me what you guys want to see. Help me out with some ideas. On that note, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.